got down big uh, out of the gates. Um, I guess what was kind of the the vibe of the team at that point, and then what was able to spark you guys to trim that thing all the way down to one? Um, key to the game was getting back in transition. So um, first five, six minutes, that's really where a lot of their buckets came from. And so I think once we cut that off and then once we got moving a little bit on the offensive end, uh, the ball started popping. Um, and we were able to get easy looks, and that got us going. Now, this was a rough start for the season for you personally. I know that it's a loss, but for you to, to come in and have that kind of impact, that means something special for you, and especially in this game. Um, you know, I know what I'm capable of. Um, coach has confidence in me. You know, he had confidence put me in the game. Um, you know, so I don't. I'm not gonna. You know, harp on any individual stats or anything like that because the goal is to win. So, um, you know, like I said, I know what I'm capable of, and I was glad I was able to give a spark. Um, but I want to win. Kobe, what makes Creighton so tough to guard on the perimeter? Um, really, like I said, the transition. They um, they have a ton of shooters. Um, their guards are uh, really looking to find those guys in transition, and um, even on makes, you know, they're getting the ball out quick. The big guy post. Um, you know, we had to help a little bit on him uh, when he did post, and I think that opened up some of the threes in transition. You mentioned their, their size and down low. What's the challenge of trying to, to score over duty seven one? Um, I mean, for me, I don't really go down there too often. Um, but, you know, he, he he's a presence. Um, I think he um, definitely altered a lot of shots tonight. Um, but, you know, he we were able to attack him a couple times, but uh, he definitely a presence, and like I said, he just altered shots. As a team leader, what do you kind of do now is the next step to kind of break the ship and get this going? Stay me. Stay me. Stay energized. Stay, um, you know, stay in guys' ear. Um, and I've said this from day one. Coach, uh, has, we talked about it. You know, whether I'm on the floor, on the bench, wherever, I'm always going to be the loudest person. Um, so, um, like I said, just stay me. When you guys lose Trey, obviously he's a great defender. All the time. What do you guys lose intangibly as a leader? A, a vocal leader, um, great defender, uh, energy guy. Um, you know, that's he's like he's like a Patrick Beverly to to the team. You know, um, he's always going to whether you know he's diving on the floor, blocking a shot. He's always going to bring something um, that you know a lot of people can't bring to the table. So um, you know, it's definitely tough losing him. I know he's going to have our back. Um, I'm not sure what you know his injury is or what it, what it is, but. Um, I know he's going to be pulling for us, um, you know, on or off the court. Kobe, how do you emotionally manage this loss? I mean, it's still just the third game of the season, but it's one that you guys really wanted to win. Um, we said it multiple times. You know, we got to flush away a win and flush away a loss. We got, I think, coach three games in six days, so we got to start preparing for that and, um, you know, just get back to it. Thank you guys for coming, guys. Okay, thank you, Kobe. Here we go. Uh, just first of all, guys, a quick update on Trey. Um, he uh, he has a, he, he broke his foot tonight, so uh, just devastating news for 